Hi, I'm Joshua Fardo and welcome to my vlog. For this video, we'll talk about mechanical principle applied in swimming. First, buoyancy, action reaction, leverage, and inertia. So let's start. First, buoyancy, meaning the ability to float. Understanding the basic of swimming is a key element to help you swim. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an experienced swimmer. How do you float in horizontal position? By changing your center of buoyancy, keeping a good amount of air in your lungs, and by kicking. If you have your arms up, the center of buoyancy gets closer to your belly. And by kicking, you create an upward force that makes the water push you up. Next, action reaction. Swimmers always push the water in a direction of opposite to the direction of advancement. The same principle is applicable for both going to where the horse is moved to the opposite direction. After the master of the technique swimming, you can try to beat the 28 Olympic medal play of Michael Phelps. Next one is leverage. Leverage is the force that is applied to an object when something such as a lever is used. This is the example that you can see. He used the force of his hand to push him up. Next, inertia. Simple means that it's more efficient to keep a body moving in a constant speed and that is to slow down or stop and speed up again. It much for efficient to keep a speed constant. In one of the way to can do that by having a strong kick. This is a very good drill to develop ping strength and fast kicking. Is the wall kick. Where the head keep down, the body position correct and with strength arm pushing against the wall. One kick for the tightest fastest kick possible against for 45 seconds allowed by 15 seconds of rest repeated by 5 times the video of this drill you can do anywhere in the hotel pool in your backyard so that's all keep safe and god bless thanks for watching